Hi guys, welcome back to Sunny Healing. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's particular reading, I have four piles. Pile one is going to be on who is into you, who is interested in you, who is intrigued by you, who is charmed. Pile two is who is falling for you, who is starting to have feelings, who cares a little bit more than they should. Pile three is who is in love with you, who is fully feeling it, who is um, fully aware of their love for you. And pile four is going to be on who is obsessed with you, who's crazy about you, who can't stop thinking about you. All right, so I'll show you the piles and I'll let you pick. Pile one, two, three, and four. Hi, pile one. So let's take a look. Who is charmed by you? Who is intrigued by you? Who is... Um, into you, who's interested in you. Let's take a look. The moon and the nine of swords. Pile one, what is this all about? So who is this person who is interested in you? Definitely someone who thinks about you at night. Um, definitely someone who might feel that almost they have no chance with you. They feel quite stressed out. There's a lot of anxiety here. When they think about you, um, almost a lot of darkness, they just feel that uh, almost it, for them it feels like it's hopeless, like um, there is no chance for you guys. They definitely think a lot at night about you. Um, they're very much intrigued with the way you are, Pile One. You inspire them. Um, there's something also very mysterious about you that they don't understand. Some of you have met unexpectedly or um, by surprise or this person started being interested in you by surprise. Um, this person feels that uh, you guys could be a great match, uh, but they're not sure why, um, or sorry, they're not sure about how you feel, by the way. This person is mainly interested in your looks. There's a lot of attraction, physical attraction. They find you quite uh, beautiful, especially something about your hair, um, the way you dress, your eyes. There's something very intriguing, almost like um, unique, you know, very different here. This person also feels um, like you have many suitors or many people who are into you or that um, you may never look at them that way. There is something about almost like a secret admirer. So some of you are not even aware that this person is into you. You're not even aware that this person is even interested in you. I'm also hearing this person could have a position or um, either in their career or in their life where they can't really reveal this to you. I also feel this person sees you as the, um, almost like the only hope or the only uh, beautiful things in their life. It's like so many things are so dark around them. There's so much frustration. A lot of things haven't been working for them, especially um, when it comes to their career or in their job. They could be very stressed out at the moment. Um, and you bring them hope. Now, a lot of them actually dreaming about you, Pile One. There's a lot of dream. There's a lot of almost manifesting you in the in the three D, but they can't really make a move, or they're like stuck in their head about you, Pile One. And also, there is a lot of fear, Pile One. It's like they feel that. Um, if they were to reveal this to you it would have a lot of consequences um, either in their career or in their personal life there's just a lot of uh, hesitancy um, you guys are feeling them at night some of you could be very sensitive in this pile and you might feel their energy at night there's a lot of attraction this person is very sexually attracted to you by one 
they're very fearful. I feel Pai Wen, really, this person was not expecting to have that much attraction towards you or in general. I think this was really unexpected, almost coming as a surprise. This person might haven't been interested in anyone for a while or could have been someone who just took things very, very casually, who never really thought about um, their love interest in this way. And they just can't get you out of their mind, especially at night. They think about you a lot. You might see a lot of nines, pile one, nine, nine. 999-909-919 This brings them a lot of stress Feeling of despair almost because they can't have you And I feel some of you know who this person is or have a feeling that this person is into you, but you don't have any proof or you're not sure 100%. I also feel some of you are not really paying attention to this person. Pisces, Energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys could have Aquarius, it could be a Libra, Gemini. I'm also hearing some of you guys, uh, this person could have contacted you or wrote to you in a way, maybe sent you a message and you may have never replied or if they, you did, it was very casually and this really disappointed them. I also feel this person usually attracts many people. is very good in terms of um, understanding others so they could be quite manipulative, especially emotionally with uh, their suitors. So they could have a lot of people who are into them and they see you as this uh, unicorn or this rare person, you might not pay attention so much to them. I also hear you might make them desire more when it comes to their life. So you do inspire them, by one. You do bring a lot of hope, a lot of inspiration. At the same time, a lot of despair because somehow they just feel they can never be with you. A lot of stress and anxiety. A lot of them think a lot about you at night, especially late at night. They, it's not just fantasy, yes there is fantasy, but at the same time a lot of hopelessness or despair. There's a lot of fear here as well. If you ever find out, there could be a lot of consequences here in their lives, in their personal lives in their current circumstances, so their current circumstances may not be favorable or even people around them may not be favorable to this kind of attraction that they have for you. So they keep this very hidden. It's really important for them that it's hidden. And at the same time, this is something that brings them a lot of stress. I feel this person really wants to speak up or say the truth or say something. There's a lot of throat chakra. Uh, blockages here, they can't really speak up or say the truth here about how they feel or even about their attraction or even about you in general. This brings them a lot of stress and anxiety, especially at night. I feel they might even have uh, tried many ways to show you that they like you, but in a very subtle way, so some of you are not even noticing. Uh, their subtle messages or their hints. This person dreams about holding you in their arms, especially at night. Alright, let's take a look if they're going to take action here. Children, your love life is being affected with children. Okay, so some of you could be um, could have children or they have children. So uh, are they going to take action? Sorry. Um, 
I would say no. I feel that there could be children involved here. So if this person has children with someone else, they might not want to hurt them. Or if you have children, they might want to be very careful approaching you. I also feel here, pile one, this person is very confused in their thoughts. Really, really confused. Um, they could have showed up as someone who is very, um, maybe childish in the way they're acting with you, immature. Um, for example, you would uh, show care or show some kind of attention to them and then they would disappear for months or just ghost you right away and you feel that this person is being immature they could act um, also very impulsively um, you don't really know how they can react to you pile one so some of them might take action but in a very spontaneous impulsive way nothing that uh, they were thinking about so for example this person really is not willing to take action but if they do it would be very impulsively so for example if you guys are uh, I don't know meeting all of a sudden somewhere in the street they might come up to you and start talking to you all of a sudden or uh, this person might uh, call you all of a sudden out of uh, an impulsive uh, act here this person could be very spontaneous sometimes and i also feel this person holds back a lot and then all of a sudden sometimes there's just too much emotional um uh, too holding too much emotions all of a sudden this needs to come out and they let it come out in a very uh, strange way impulsive way even aggressive sometimes So you might notice that this person shows you a lot of attention all of a sudden or even reaches out or even tries to um, say something that's actually complimentary to you but then retracts back right away. Almost like as soon as they show you attention or as soon as they take some kind of action, they regret it right away. So I do feel this person has a very difficult position and... Um, showing feelings or showing any kind of interest that's romantic towards you could cost them a lot or could bring a lot of anxiety overall or could have an impact on some children either yours or theirs they're trying to protect that so some of them have a family Alright, Pile 1, I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you at your next reading. Bye bye. Pile 2. Alright, so who is starting to have feelings for you? Who is falling for you? Who cares more than they should? Let's see. Alright, the death card and the well. Wow. Someone who is very, very strong in terms of energy. I mean, this is Scorpio energy, very strong, um, transformative energy. This person is um, someone who is quite intense, very intense. I feel they're already starting to feel very strongly towards you. Um, they're trying to hide it, pile two. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to hide it by acting... Um, I'm, I'm seeing the magician, you know, like acting almost like in a, a manipulative way or just almost trying to focus you on something else so, you, so that you don't notice. So for example, they might like to look at you, they might like to watch you, they might like to intensely stare at you, but they would uh, focus your attention, uh, attention elsewhere so that they can do that uh, without you noticing. So this person is very good at mm, 
manipulating you in a way so that you don't notice that they're having feelings or that they're falling for you or that they're really intensely <clears throat> interested in you. Um, they're trying to confuse you or they put you in... Um, some of them actually try to even make you jealous or yeah, they might even try to make you jealous or uh, pretend to like someone else, maybe a friend or someone who's around you um, that they're not really interested in, uh, just to kind of provoke a reaction from you. This person quite uh, could be quite insecure about the way they feel about you. They're not uh, really feeling good about this. They feel that it's too much, too too soon as well for some or too much if you guys have known each other for a while this person is really trying to pull away or trying to not fall so fast number 13 could be important for you guys you guys could see 10 13 13 13 this person is uh, very very uh, much secretive they don't like to talk about themselves they hide a lot of things they might even actually lie or pretend and I'm also hearing you don't know what to expect with them sometimes they're very sweet flirtatious nice and all a sudden they would change or they would disappear or they would uh, act cold all of a sudden there's a lot of uh, changes in terms of the the way they are this person could have brought a lot of changes in your life they could have had a big impact on you some of you this person could be a soulmate you guys could have a soul tie and I'm also hearing some of you have changed a lot since meeting this person. Uh, I also feel this person could have showed up in a time where you guys were going through some major transformation in your life or a big transition in your lives. Um, I'm hearing some of you may have had a child around the time you met this person or uh, this person could have just had a child around this time. This person is very much drawn to you, Pile 2. They're very drawn to you, to your energy. There is uh, a lot of attraction and you feel it. Pile 2, you know this person is highly sexually attracted to you. There's a lot of uh, tension. I feel a lot of you really are not uh, mm, in any kind of sexual relationship with this person or was maybe a one night stand or something, very casual. But this person is very intense. They feel, uh, if you guys have had uh, sex before, they feel that this was maybe the best that they've had. There's a lot of um, remembering it. Rem um, they think about it a lot. There's a lot of um, intense feelings around you, especially around um, sacral chakra the root chakra there's very much a lot of interest in that if they haven't uh, been with you that way they want to i'm hearing it's like they feel that they've missed their chance for some of you they missed the opportunity to be with you in that way they're very very attracted to you physically um some of you might have actually rejected their advances I'm also hearing some of you actually, this person has pushed you away. Uh, yeah. I'm hearing they were afraid to fall or they were afraid that they would get stuck on you. Pile 2, there's a lot of um, intense energy coming out of your pile. You guys could be very uh, sexual or very sensual. There's something about you that's very... Um, very erotic some of you could dance some of you could have maybe um, work in some kind of maybe nightclub or something related to the nightlife here or um, or in a place that's considered taboo having a job that's considered taboo
this person is very afraid to fall completely for you. Um, very afraid of that. And you have the well here. Pile two. I feel this person is very afraid to um, kind of get stuck on you completely. This person really cares about having control over their lives. This person could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They care about being in control. They care about even controlling their partner. They like to have the upper hand. And with you, uh, you're like a wild card. There is something here that is unexpected or um, it's difficult to predict what you're going to do, pile two. Uh, especially when it comes to uh, the sexual attraction they have for you. They don't want to be stuck or be... Um, you know like that you uh, maybe even manipulate them or get them to do things for you because of the intense attraction this person has for you you guys might have noticed that this person is trying to get your attention or trying to distract you by acting different indifferently this person may have played games with you already or uh, acted um, hot and cold, you might notice that this person is quite uh, strange in the way they act with you. Some of you have actually turned your back from this person. It kind of started very casually and then you've noticed their intensity and you have pulled away or uh, decided to move on to other options or do something else and this person is very upset. They're trying not to show it. There's a lot of pride here. So yes, earth signs, maybe they could be fire as well. Aries, Leo, they could have that as a rising sign, a moon. And the name Walter is coming. Walter, Wellington, Wallace, Willie, William. This person thinks a lot about you. You guys are very much intensely uh, attracted to each other. There's a lot of intensity between the two of you. I also feel some of you just stay away. Then as soon as you come back, again, there's a lot of intensity. You just can't stay away from each other for too long. There's a lot of intensity here. And it's not just sexual. This person is actually falling for you. And they don't want that to happen. And I also feel this person might feel that if they actually fall for you completely, this would uh, bring a lot of changes in their lives. They would have to go through a huge transformation to get this relationship going or this attraction um, grounded in a way. So this would have a big impact on either you or them uh, in terms of their day-to-day -day life. And that's very scary. But at the same time, this person might feel that you guys can create magic together. There is something about, like the phoenix, you know, the phoenix rising from their ashes here. They feel that you've brought them a breath of fresh air. You've brought them some kind of renewal that they desperately needed in their lives. Uh, you change them forever, pile two. You change them forever. This is a big, uh, there is a very strong soul tie here. Karmic, maybe. Maybe a soulmate, a twin flame. You guys could live in the north or you could live in a place where there's a lot of pine trees. All right, are they going to take action? It says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So are they going to take action? Pile two. Okay. I feel this person is very much... Uh, surrounded by many people they have options they are sincerely interested in you there's a lot of sincerity when they're around you they definitely want you they have many other options here pile two um, i 
I would say this person might just uh, try to keep this very superficial. I wouldn't see them actually going all in. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of hesitancy. They don't want to lose their freedom. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. They're afraid of losing their freedom. They're afraid of going all in. Um, also, I feel here they could be influenced by others. Some people might talk um, negatively about you around them. Or they could have asked for advice and people were not very much supportive of you guys. Five two, I see you as being someone who is very trusting or very sweet. Who could have been very um, much open to this person or even vulnerable with them at some point. You're knowing now that it's time to pull your energy back or that um, you have to protect yourself because the intense energy that when the, that this bring that this person brings with them uh, leaves you hanging or leaves you um, out of balance. So this person is not going to leave your life soon they're probably going to come back in and out a lot of intensity they might disappear for a little bit but they keep on coming back here pile two and you probably know who this person is they actually co c cannot stay away from you for too long you guys have learned about self-respect self-love during this uh, connection you've learned to care for yourself first to yourself first to even uh, reject this person when they're not uh, acting um, respectfully towards you or putting you uh, as a priority I'm hearing Ed names with E Ed Eduardo Ed, Eddie Alright, pile two. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I see you at your next reading. Bye bye. Pile three. Let's see who's in love with you. Seven of Swords and Nine of Wands. Oof, what is this all about? Pile three. Who is in love with you? Someone who might have um, been quite. Um, maybe dishonest or could have played you in a way someone who's definitely hiding their love they're blocking their love they might have blocked you they might have pushed you away they're putting up very strong boundaries someone who is not wanting to be revealed to you this person definitely hides their feelings around around you they don't want you to know they're afraid that you would know and then um I'm hearing things might go south or that this person is actually not able to take responsibilities of their feelings so this person does have feelings for you this person has a lot of attraction towards you as well the nine of wands this person could have had a very deceptive behavior in the past some of you this person could be an ex you guys could have had a relationship or some kind of connection and this person could have been very deceptive with you I'm also feeling some of you could have gone through cycles with this person a lot of uh, different cycles this person would come back and then leave again this person has strong feelings for you they don't want you to know they also might hide things from you pile three <clears throat> Especially when it comes to their personal space, this person cares about having a personal space. Um, they don't want to give up their freedom. They care about being um, independent. They're afraid of being with someone who might be too dependent on them, needy, codependent. This person could have had to deal with uh, uh, difficult situations even early in their childhood. They could have had to uh, take care of a parent or take care of a sibling. They had to be strong and be responsible. I 
you might have noticed that this person doesn't like to open up to you they might have never shared their feelings with you you might have noticed that every time you guys speak about feelings this person tries to run away or tries to uh, ignore your question some of you you might have even noticed that this person completely changes the subject or tries to uh, to move away physically i also feel here pile two some of you have noticed that this person um might even say something that's uh very uh positive towards you you might notice that this person is sharing and then disappears for a while because they feel that they have shared too much or that they are um going to be seen for who they are this person is afraid that you discover who they truly are there's a lot of hiding about what their lifestyle could be. There's a lot of uh, hidden energy because they're afraid of your uh, judgment or your opinion of them really, ma of course, really matters because this person has feelings for you, is in love with you. They don't want to be seen for who they are. They feel that they're not lovable or that they're not at your level. They might not be feeling good enough for you. Some of them might feel that they have to work hard to get to your level or feel that they have to really put the work to um, impress you. I also feel this person could be one of your ex and they've fallen in love with you once they moved away from you. So you guys could have broken up and now they're feeling that they actually are in love. They're afraid that if they come your way, you would just push them away. They might feel that you have your guards up. <clears throat> Because of their behavior, you might have your guards up here, pile three, towards them. You might be, might have blocked them or might have clearly showed them that you're not interested in a second or third or fourth chance. I have F names, Frederick, Faisal, Farid, uh, Farouk, Faye, Felipe, Some of you have actually said no more to this person. You might have even caught them cheating on you for some. This is for a few of you. This person, you might have caught them cheating on you. And you might have blocked them off. And they really are in love with you now. I'm hearing they're getting a lot of karma no matter what they did. So this person might have done uh, something negative towards you. They're getting their karma. And one thing about this karma is them falling deeply in love with you. I'm also feeling pile three. This person could have had a heart awakening since you guys have left or have uh, pulled away from each other. Um, they could have had a heart awakening and, um, and a way to access their hearts. This experience was a way for them to actually access their hearts again. They could have had really big issues, actually, in terms of falling in love. They could have always favored casual things or uh, like to uh, keep multiple options at the same time. Mm. I, three, I also feel this person, if you've been in a long-term relationship, they might uh, be cold to you. They might show up as someone who is always uh, defensive or cold or maybe even uh, wanting to fight a lot um, they're trying to protect their heart they feel a lot of love for you pile three a lot of love and some i'm hearing some of them never felt this much love but it's it's the reaction is very negative to it because they're afraid that um they're afraid that you don't love them back as much pile three some of you could be very casual or could have had um, 
I'm here in a coffee date with other people. They might have seen you with other people. Or, um, yeah, they might have seen you at a coffee place with someone else or something like that. Lisa, I'm hearing Lisa, Lila, Lily, Lydia, Laurent, Lauren. All right, let's take a look. Are they going to take action towards you? Pile three. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. I would say yes. They're going to make the effort here. Pile three. They're very guarded. They're afraid. There's a lot of fear. They are very stuck on you though. And they feel the love. They're going to put some kind of effort. So if this person is far away from you, they are going to come back. So if this person is not in your, uh, with you right now, you're not together, this person is going to make the effort to come back your way. And they're going to come with some kind of very tender offer. I feel they might give you fruit, they might offer you uh, a little necklace, a bracelet, or even write you a little card or a letter here. They want to show you a little bit of tenderness, a little bit of sweetness. They want to show that they can be um, more open with their heart or more vulnerable or even that they can actually share something with you without retracting back or without being always defensive. This is a big thing for them, Pile 3. No matter what uh, effort they're actually going to put here is a big thing for them. There's a, a huge maturity here that's happening for them. So. You're being called that if you're interested in this person, stay open or be welcome or welcome the effort, welcome the gesture. This person is really, really protecting their heart. They're really going through a huge heart awakening. This is very big for them. For some, actually, it's the first time that they're falling in love. Some of you, I also feel like you guys remind them of a, maybe even a... Uh, the kind of love they used to feel when they were very young or the first, their first love, this very innocent love that you give your heart all, all the way, you're very vulnerable, there is no doubt, there is no uh, self-consciousness, no uh, negative behaviors, um, you're just really open and vulnerable for the first time, you're falling in love and you remind them of that, what they're feeling right now is a reminder of that first love. They might ask you out uh, for a picnic for some, going for a stroll. They might get you pink flowers, I'm hearing, or white flowers. Yeah, for most of you, I feel this person is willing to make the effort Take a chance, even though they're afraid. All right, Path 3, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And i see you at your next reading. Bye. Hey, Path 4, let's see who is obsessed with you, who can't stop thinking about you, who is going crazy about you. Five of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Okay. Who is this person? This person feels left out in the cold. I feel this person might have showed you a little small token of love or might have flirted with you. I feel this person might have sent you a message that's a little bit uh, sweet, just a way to show you that they're interested and you might have just not been interested or not showed the same kind of interest and you feel left out in the cold. This person might even have financial issues right now. Most likely this person is just right now thinking about you non-stop. I, I, I also feel piled before you uh, have triggered some kind of uh, inner child wound here. Something here about um, when they feel abandoned with the, by their mother here, a feeling of abandonment that they had to deal with when they were very small kids, even being bullied maybe at uh, kindergarten, um, in school in general, you might have triggered those feelings. Uh, that they have to deal with right now. Pile 4, I also feel this person has to heal. They really feel um, that they actually have to heal if they want to come back your way, 
you just really push them to um, I'm here and see the truth of who they are or see the truth of the way they've been acting see the truth um, about their own integrity something about that they could have been acting without integrity or could have blocked their heart chakra and they've been just uh, using people or even abandoning multiple people at the same time or uh, being in and out or maybe being just very charming with everybody flirting with everybody and then moving away all of a sudden you've shown them that that's the behavior they've been having this person has been quite triggered by your feel your the feelings they have for you I also feel this person really wants the key to your heart they are really really desperate to know how to get you in love with them I will be making another video on how uh, who wants your love but this person wants definitely your love they want the key to your heart they don't know how they don't know how even though the key is very easy very obvious uh, to the ones who are uh, clear-hearted to people who are open-minded to people who are willing to be vulnerable with you your key is easy to find but this person is not yet there this person feels not good enough feels left out in the cold there's a lot of disappointment a lot of despair you just trigger them to some kind of uh, again inner child wounds here um, that have been uh, activated or reactivated with you rejecting them or you maybe not giving them or paying them that much attention I also feel here pile four you guys could have other suitors or this person could have been so timid with their offer that you haven't even noticed their offer could have been a very timid offer and you haven't even noticed or haven't paid attention to them and just really trigger them to feel not good enough left out in the cold I feel this person could have cried over you for some point for this person cried over you this person could have a baby girl or a girl girl teenage girl baby girl what do you do you you have um activated a wound from maybe one of their first love or someone they used to love very much who has abandoned them um This person might feel uh, that they're so much lower than you. There's something here about you are some kind of queen or some kind of uh, beauty uh, goddess, something like, uh, or god. There's something about uh, your energy is so intense and powerful compared to them. Um, this person compares that a lot. They compare themselves to you. Some of you actually have a lot of presence a lot of magnetism here a lot of um, people attracted to you and they feel that they're just not good enough at all and this puts them in a very obsessive state it's like they can't really get you out of their head it keeps on like they keep on like obsessing over you the more they feel low the more they are desperate to get your attention and then still they just show up with a very small offer they don't know how to move past this energy it's like yeah it's like a repeat a repetitive patterns here they keep on doing the same thing trying to bring uh, new results you know but they keep on doing the same thing so of course they're getting the same result this person could have been very immature with you by four you could have closed the door completely over them you could have just closed the door on them and um, and they know it's because the behavior is very immature they realize that they just don't know how to change how to heal they realize that their behavior is very immature or has been very immature they know that they're having a lot of trouble showing you what they have in their hearts and they keep on showing up with a very very small offer just like hi how are you or like what's up and you just either don't reply or you just uh, barely reply to them 
I also saw Field Pile 4, they really love it if you wear in gold. The ones who have, uh, um, who like to wear gold, especially if you have darker skin, they find that super attractive, very attractive to you. This person is very attracted to you, but there's also a lot of despair, a lot of feeling of hopelessness, and um, this person could be actually going through some kind of depression. Um, they could go through a lot of financial issues right now. And also, especially if they have a child, child or children, they could be um, having to maybe work the many places, different jobs to make the ends meet. I feel for some, this person could be divorced and could have to bring uh, some kind of money to their ex-spouse. This person has to deal with uh, multiple responsibilities. They feel that they're not good enough. They feel that they can't do it. A lot of depression, a lot of um, low self-esteem here in Pine 4. I also feel how this person might watch you somewhere. They might be keeping an eye on you somewhere. Some of you don't even realize how obsessed this person is with you because they just show up with a very small offer and it's in a very... Um, the intensity around you is not very strong. Unless you're very intuitive, you don't realize that this person is obsessed with you. They want your love. They want you to love them back. This person really loves the shoes you wear, Pile 4. They enjoy the way you look, the way you dress. Something about the shoes here, or the boots. I'm hearing call me, some of you. This person wants you to call them. They've been waiting for a call. They're actually right now waiting for a call. Yeah, call me. Or when you call them, their heart beats very strong. There's something about... They just don't know how to react and then they could react in a very immature way every time. I feel some of you could have even given money to this person or relented some kind of money. Um, yeah, for some that's the case. You could live close to the water, close to the sea, or you could live close to the sea. Here, you guys could walk for by the sea, or could have walked by the sea at some point, or they could have seen you walking by the sea in the beach, or even pictures of you in the beach. This person actually adores you, but you don't know that by before. I don't think this person was very clear. Uh, about the way they feel about you, but they definitely adore you, they admire you. You guys can do something very um, productive, very admirable here. You guys could have a high status and they find that very attractive. Um, they have trouble revealing their feelings, they're just stuck, very stuck in, some of them in a lot of darkness here. I also feel some of them might feel that they're not good looking enough. Something about their looks is not good enough for you. You guys could look really, really beautiful or handsome. Uh, like out of their leagues, basically. They might feel that you're out of their leagues. The way they look is just not good enough. That's how they see it. You guys might wear blue or purple and they find that super attractive. I I four. Let's see if they're going to take action towards you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Alright, yes, they will. They will still take this kind of action though. Very immature action, you see the same? So this person will still come back, showing something, telling you, hey, how are you? Or sending you a smiley, or maybe liking your picture, or just a very small gesture that you're not even going to notice. I feel some of you could have Leo vibes, there's a lot of fire here, a lot of ambition as well, you guys are very magnetic. You could have a lot of people uh, reaching out to you, you might not even notice that this person is interested. So this person is still going to be acting the same way, bringing small gesture, maybe even um, 
offering you coffee maybe um, just really really very small um, it could be quite detail oriented Virgo Virgo vibe here I'm getting Virgo yes very detail oriented and um, giving you very small gesture that you might not notice um, I'm also getting so Virgo maybe Capricorn Gemini Cancer as well yeah Cancer mm -hmm. this person has a very childlike attitude around you you guys could be uh, again very accomplished this person could still be accomplished in their life in general but around you they just feel like a child or they feel very immature or not good enough so they just show up with a small gesture staying optimistic trying to stay optimistic trying to have faith that you might notice them but you don't I'm hearing you are not just into them you probably are not into them actually by four some of you are not into them at all or not even I'm hearing it's not your type it's not someone you're even considering I'm hearing some of you could live in Italy or you guys could have gone to Rome you could have traveled to Rome this person might see as someone who's very cold or might reject them every single time I also feel this person might um, want to write you something very positive or even a comment that's very positive or um, compliment you in some way but a very small compliment still you might not notice this person is like you remind them of their mom or something about a parent who could have been uh, difficult to them could have made them feel abandoned and rejected you remind them of that energy um, yeah you trigger a lot of inner child uh, wounding here all right pile four i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please don't forget to give a thumbs up and i see you later bye bye